you yeah. seem very alive, which for is now. nice to see. <laughs> for, yes. Yeah. What, what did you think of Kate's revelation that you are now an urn that roots for the Steelers with your daughter? Well, I just imagined myself very, very small inside nice. said urn. Nice. Um, you know, it was one of those things for me where I... I think about Jack, and I think about his relationship with his wife, and I think about how they raise their children, and at a certain point, lessons stop. So when you do discover, when, when the audience does discover that Jack is no more, it's like, at what point do those lessons to his children, does that love to his wife, stop? And I think it's... it's um, I think it's a very exciting thing to be able to hold on to those moments where, you know, the, the kids are talking about mom and dad or relating to mom in the present day or, you know, uh, talking about, you know, uh, you know, dads, dads, we, we watch the Super Bowl together, you know, or dads with me every day in the painting. Justin over there. Hey. <laughs> See, that's looking at all these beautiful the people. That's all. Yeah, I know. Um, no, I just I thought it was it was a really cool moment and thing to be a part of, and I think for all of us, and just you know thinking about what you take away from from your families and and the people that you love the most. Mm -hmm. Chrissy, I understand you didn't take it so well when you first found out that Jack was dead. What? I was pissed. I was like, that's my dad, and who is this guy with my mom? Miguel. Um, I didn't like that. Um, but we have to love step parents, right? Because they come in when uh, things happen. So I know that was cryptic. Um, when things happen, uh, I, I just have this affinity for Milo as as Chrissy, and so then it translates in in my performance. I hope anyway. T tiny guy in a, in, a, in a little gold urn. I didn't think that. <laughs> We all have an affinity for Milo, though, we don't do. we? We do. We He's do. How can heart, you not? Heart and soul, man. How can heart you and not? soul. So, yeah, it was emotional for me, and I was a little angry. <sighs> Still working on it. Yeah, it's okay. We'll work through it. Thank you, session. Dan. Yeah, we're here for you. Thank you. We have um, to tell people, though, originally the audience knew in the pilot from Randall that yeah. Jack <laughs> had passed, but then they decided to re edit it and leave it until episode five. And not tell the, us. Yeah, and not tell <laughs> us. Like, we didn't even realize so, it So like we were all doing, if you, talking to yeah. the press and doing interviews for like a couple months and I'm sure that we've said it multiple times. <laughs> like, well, if you paid attention in the pilot, Sterling's character says that his dad's passed away and then lo and behold, like. Yeah. Didn't say it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and every, everyone's like, well. The, the line <laughs> where <laughs> William says, your father must have been very proud of you. Yeah. Must have been. Must've. That's still in there. Mm. Oh, I don't Yeah, Ron still says it. It's yep. all about perception, right? Depends totally. on how you perceive. Well, it definitely makes a lot of sense to hold it because the emotional power of the Miguel reveal, if you already knew he was dead, it wouldn't work as well. Right. And Very true. we're not right, we're not as invested in the character. It's just information, Randall. You know, it, it takes an episode or two for us to attach. So it really was the right decision to hold it till the Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh.